In Nigeria, we have the political class and the people, right? And the political class have always been able to stay united in spite of whatever differences they tell us that we have. They don't seem to have. When it comes to corruption in Nigeria, there's no tribe, there's no religion, there's no ethnicity, there's no gender, nothing. They all work together. When it comes to giving us good, bad governance, they all work together. That Those divides that they tell us that we have, they don't seem to have them. And whenever citizens come together to work towards something or working on something or having a common purpose, guess what they always bring in? Religion, ethnicity, and all of that. And they are doing it again, all over again. The last one they did was during NSAT's protest. When the Nigerian youth came together all over the country, they came together and with one voice they were saying NSAT. Guess what they used? Religion and ethnicity. And they used the religious leaders and the traditional rulers. The traditional uh, leaders also, or rulers you might call them. And I remember the northern governors even did a meeting. They had a communique where they were saying to the traditional rulers and the religious rulers, well done for a job well done, for using ethnicity and religion to divide the youth. Today, the youth, a good number of the youth, and a lot of Nigerians are united behind Peter Obi. Guess what they are using? Religion. And ethnicity the same religion and ethnicity that they do not remember when they are giving you bad governance when they are unleashing mayhem on you they don't care when they are doing their corruption it doesn't divide them all of a sudden you're coming together they are bringing it and one of the things that they always use is to try to make people responsible for the violence that they unleash the establishment right now i'm going to call them the establishment whether the main opposition whether the ones in government whether all of them it's one political class that right now they are seeing nigerians are taking their power back and seemingly wanting to decide who is it that becomes the next president and who are the people that go into office the other political offices and they are scared and they don't mind they will come together they will gang up against the people and do everything they can to make sure that they put spanners in the wheels and what are they doing now they are trying to make out that peter will be will be the supporters are sort of like violent how where when that was the same thing they did during NSAS protests. Guess what they did? They kept saying, oh, the movement will be hijacked, the movement will be hijacked. And we kept saying to them, there's no hijacking of movement. See, we all saw the NSAS protesters, how they were very calm, how they would even protest, they would sweep the place, they would clean up. They, they, they did everything, you know, right, focus and all of that. Guess who brought in the, the talks? It was government. Both uh, police vehicles were used to transport dogs. We saw military vans being used to transport dogs. We saw their security bo uh, vehicles, government vehicles were used to transport dogs to go and uh, uh, attack protesters and cause mayhem in the world. And what did they try to do? They were blaming the NSAS protesters. Now they are doing the same thing again with Peter Obi. And every time Peter Obi is coming out to apologize, on, uh, uh, apologize and caution his supporters and all of that, who decides who his supporter is? Is it because you just put, you just on your, either on your Twitter, this, either you wear a t uh, shirt that says Peter Obi or on your Twitter handle, is that it? You think they will not bring their mayhem? By making Peter Obi to become, uh, to hold him, to become responsible for some of the things that maybe it is even i'm not i won't be surprised it is they that are doing it by doing that they're making him responsible for something he is not the cause of and when they will bring their violence which they normally will do they will not say it's him they'll put him on the defensive and he will go on to be defend defending i saw reno mokri and sega link shegua wasanya you know coming out to say and many other others coming out to say that oh he's, he's responsible for his for his uh, support as his the same Shago Abosonia, Segalik, and the same Reno Moku that have been as vile as vile can be. I've been on, on, on Twitter space since 2014. 2014, after my 40th birthday, was when I decided I was going to focus on Nigeria's issue. And I came out making the mask for Bring Back Our Girls. Guess what? I have been on the other side of facing the venom from the, from the establishment. And I know what they can do. There's no kind of insult that they didn't give us. There's no kind of abuse, whatever. Whoever took responsi responsibility for them. The same people who, that is their work. They create, they have people 
e-talks, I call them e-talks, that they unleash on people to say all sorts of vile things, all sorts of insults, all sorts of attacks and what have you, are the ones who are now coming out in an orchestrated manner and saying that, oh, it's Peter or these supporters who are doing this. This government and the establishment, both as, I call them the political class, the main opposition, the government, the establishment, they are all the same. And right now, they are scared of the people. If you've never thought that you mattered in this country, if you've never thought that you had the power for the first time, you can see how jittery the establishment, the political class is. And it says a lot that indeed power belongs to you. Do not fall into their trap. Do not fall into the things that they've always done to keep the people divided. Remember, the poverty that the northern people face and the southern people face is the same. It's the same. The unemployment is the same. The lack of security is the same. The lack of access to good quality education is the same. The lack of good health care system is the same. We are all suffering. The suffering is not different. But the political class, they are enjoying, whether they are from the north or from the south. And isn't it time for us to say, enough is enough. Thank you.